a very quick test on the BWP34 uh, photodiode. Um, don't have time to do an in-depth analysis, but I thought this might help any of you planning around using it. Uh, isn't that beautiful? That's the BWP34 photodiode. Uh, as I'm sure you're all aware, it's International Energy Harvesting this uh, week, this week. Uh, well, it isn't, but uh, I've suddenly got myself into energy harvesting. I've ordered a, a bunch of uh, uh, energy harvesting modules um, from uh, Linear Technologies and also from um, Texas Instruments. Uh, they're on their way, uh, but in the meantime, I've ordered a whole bunch of uh, things that will generate um, electricity um, photodiodes, small PV cells, um, kinetic energy uh, piezo um, uh, cells and Peltier thermal uh, electric generators. But these arrived ahead of everything else and I uh, got quite excited about them. They're tiny, tiny photodiodes, um, little lens on the top as you saw. Uh, the uh, specs on the screen right now, uh, Vichy, and they're such an interesting company. The, the chips and modules they do are just fantastic. Uh, as you can see, there's a uh, a kind of a range uh, where it uh, increases its sensitivity based on, on, on wavelength and the, uh, the range there it picks up around about 400 nanometers up to 900 nanometers which is kind of a visible spectrum roughly speaking uh, and that in terms of color uh, let me think um, oh gee this is embarrassing yeah the uh, it's wavelength so frequency Therefore, it's more sensitive at the red end of the spectrum, the 800-900, than the cool end of the spectrum, the blue, at the 400. Uh, so it's very good for daylight. Um, so what I thought we'd, we'd do, you can see all sorts of stuff in that spec, spectral density, uh, sensitivity, relative sensitivity. But what we want to know is how many amps and how many volts, right? So I'm going to just hook up a, a multimeter to this little sucker and see what we get out of it. Uh, it's an ultra-ranging multimeter. It takes a while to settle down. I, hope, I don't... Have I got the turtles around the right way? I don't know. No, I've got them around the wrong way. Let me put them around the right way, just uh, my OCD. <clears throat> there we go. And there it is. Now, under a glass roof at the moment, but not in direct sunlight. I'm in shade. And there you can see, uh, 375, 377, just under 400 millivolts, which is quite extraordinary, really. Uh, if I put that in direct sunlight, can I get this in direct sunlight? Maybe I can. Yeah, it's going up. There we go. Oh, I can't. oh, there we go. I've caught the light now. And we're up about 500 millivolts there. I'm sure, sure you can see that. Pretty cool, eh? 523 millivolts. Remarkable. So, right. Each of these will push out 500 millivolts in direct sunlight, 400 millivolts. It's also, uh, we can measure it in, 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 in uh, internal uh, artificial light and see what it's like when the lights are out. Because that's got a dark light performance as well. What I've got over here is a bunch of them, five, in fact, in series. Now, which way did I have this? I forgot which way around it is. I don't think there's any identifying marks. So which... Okay, so that's the positive end. That's the negative end. These are in series. I'm hoping that these will be enough. Well, actually, I'm lying, really. I know they, they are enough to light the LED. I tried it earlier. Couldn't wait. And I thought, well, I'd better get the camera out. So, come on, get in there. There we go. Let's measure the voltage across that. Um, should be around about two and a half, right? Something like that. 2.3 volts. Tremendous. I've got a little LED in there. Uh, the um, uh, negative of the photodiode is uh, connected uh, to one leg of the LED. And we put this in. Let's see if it lights it up. Can you see this? Whoa, it lights it up. How cool is that? Extraordinary. <clears throat> uh, right, now the next thing we want to know is how much current is flowing through there. So, uh, let me get the, uh, the other toy out. This is the, um, the Keithley. Is that going in? There we go. Uh, what we'll do is we'll pull this connection out. LED goes out and we'll see just how much um, current is flowing through this little mini circuit. So I need to get the negative end, oops, no, positive end on here, and the negative end on here. 
So it's lit up, so we have a very low burden voltage on this thing, it's phenomenal. Make sure you can see that, we just take a look through the camera lens, I should have had the, yeah you can, you can see that. Right, I'll power this on, um, and here we get our, our amps reading. So it's going through its self-checking, bingo, amps, auto range, my goodness, that's uh, 30, almost 40 micro amps. Now, um, you, you can see on the screen right now, uh, my um, uh, video uh, showing you that the A Atmel processors can run on 200 nanoamps. We're talking somewhere in the region of 200 times uh, the current required uh, to uh, light up an Atmel uh, processor in in sleep mode, um, and and that's the beauty of of just I mean just one of these uh, photo diodes uh, is is good enough to power the eighty tiny in sleep mode in full sunlight um, with uh, tons to spare to fill a capacitor or a cell via an energy harvesting circuit. So no need for batteries, no need to connect it to uh, uh, an AC-DC adapter. Uh, one of those diodes is enough to run an Atmel processor on its own, as long as you're not doing too much with uh, external sensors all of the time. Right, let's see what this thing does in current, if we cover it up. Let's see, oh, so good. Let's do a bowl. Well, that's a pretty good fit, but still we're getting 1.8 microamps, and don't forget that's still let me see, to 90 times, 90 times, nine times more than we require. No, 90 times more than we require to run the uh, Atmel processor. So even its dark light performance is is phenomenal. Um, now, you know, you probably wouldn't use these uh, as your exclusive energy harvesting uh, um, uh, uh, peripheral. You, you could use uh, PV cells, you know, solar cells, which of course is what these are. Each of these um, photodiodes has a, a lens on the front of it trying to focus the incoming light uh, onto the diode. Um, little packets of energy, little photons, quantums of energy, which are just uh, pushing electrons up to a, a higher level, and those are flowing across the PN junction with the uh, the intermediate layer, the, um, the well, I suppose it's the depletion layer in some respects, uh, through to the lighting the LED. But the uh, amount of current is really quite extraordinary. So just a, a six of that uh, would be more than enough to uh, drive an AT tiny. Uh, it's quite remarkable. Um, well, I'm excited anyway, so I hope you are too. But uh, so just one of those would be uh, six into uh, for seven seven um, seven micro amps, and each of them uh, around about five hundred millivolts in uh, full light, uh, uh, full sunlight. But let's go back again, just have a quick check and see what the voltage is in the shade. That would be useful as well. I mean, I know these are rough measurements, but you look through the spec, it's a bit difficult to try and pick out what you need in terms of, you know, current on these things to make your calculations work. So, let me pull one out again. There we go. And which way around was this? Oh, yeah, that's a negative. That's for sure. And that's the positive. That's for sure. And we're kind of in the shade right now, and we're, we're rocking about, I don't know, 380, 400. Um, millivolts. So now you can get cracking, you've got your calculations, you know exactly what it can do, uh, even uh, in, in uh, you know, lights out conditions it's still pulling through um, you know, a reasonable amount of current. Um, let me see what the voltage is with um, lights out. Good heavens, 300... that's extraordinary. So the voltage uh, doesn't seem to suffer too much. I guess it's take. Oh, of course, I've got a light coming in underneath. It's a glass table. That's probably not the best <laughs> table to be doing this sort of stuff. But uh, still, that uh, gives you a good idea exactly how the uh, marble 
miracle marvels uh, perform. I uh, hope you found it interesting. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you did. All the best. Cheers.